so that was really weird as I was discussing, you know, ego and um, anger as it's relating to feelings of anger, my camera stopped recording and I got a message that I needed to, I was in danger of losing space because I had too much um, recorded. I need to go back and delete some things and so I was like, wow. So there you go. We have to get used to uh, or accept the times in life where we have to sort of start culling and getting rid of things, things that we'd like to hold on to. Okay, and so I think you might want to reflect on, on that. Um, if your sense of peace is too, or happiness or worthiness is too um, entwined with material things or the external things. Um, okay. This down here. Okay. So, Spirit, what can we do? I'm feeling angry. Do. What to do? What to do? Mm, okay, we need to um, see this time as a gift uh, from spirit uh, that sort of shatters. It's pierced through all of those things that we needed. See the, the victory, the wreath, and the wreath around his head, which could also be a crown pierces through that there's a new truth here and we can take this opportunity to accept it and gain some insight or some clarity into you know what it is that we are going through that this is an opportunity to um, look at our sense of self and worthiness and the world um, in a new light one from a higher perspective This is directly inspired inspiration, message, clarity, a new truth directly from our own collective higher wise self, also called spirit. In the bottom of the deck was nine of pentacles. You know, she trusts 100% in her ability to create abundance, to be in abundance, wrapped and clothed in Venus, all about abundance and love. The falcon's little head is covered. She's just, she's very much at peace. She has everything that she could ever need or want, and she can create it. After the harvest, she can start again and create it again. Okay. And the potential outcome, if we could change our perspective and see this as a gift of insight, clarity. A new perspective of looking at ourselves or the world and what is valuable. A new kind of kingdom. 
What is the potential outcome here, Spirit? What is the potential outcome? Just covered in chills, guys. Covered in goosebumps. Which is how I know that Spirit is right here. Lots of really good cards when I'm coming out, but I'd like to have a jumper, please. Spirit. Do this too long. Potential outcome here. Potential outcome. If we were to accept this new truth, this new. Awareness, this new truth, this new, this offering perspective from you, Spirit, God. Okay. Okay. Potential outcome is going to be uh, walking away from that which we still have affection for and and enjoy and love and is fulfilling yet or was yet we're going to walk towards something more fulfilling we're deciding and choosing from a place of a new understanding and a new awareness about worthiness to move into a place of something even more fulfilling. And we were supposed to. This is karmic. It's almost, this to me right now looks like it's a gift from our past self to our current self, our soul. If you are struggling with anger be compassionate with yourself this isn't easy we're designed to want we're designed to use anger as a fuel to protect ourselves when a boundary is being crossed right <sighs> taking my stuff you're changing my life. You're you're forcing me to stay in. Like what? You're trapping me. I can't move. I can't do what I want to. You're taking my livelihood, my sense of being able to provide. Like no. Not okay. Of course we're going to feel angry. So be compassionate with yourself. And also work with your own higher, wiser self, your own spirituality, your own practice um, in connecting to spirit and a higher, a higher truth, a higher perspective, you know, um, that, well, if this is so, then I'm going to give it meaning. I'm going to... Um, Trust that that when I'm ready, I will be moving into something even more fulfilling, even more that makes me feel more self-satisfied and self-actualized, if you will. Okay, so let's get a quick... Get some oracle messages. This is from the um, Spirit Animal Oracle deck from Colette Baron Reed. You may want to take some time to think about, you know, what 
what your dreams were as a child, your simple dreams. If you have children, observe them. What really, really brings them joy? And see if you can connect to that part of yourself. What really, really mattered as a child to you. Vulture spirit. Nothing is wasted. Interesting. He's got a little crown on his head. Very resourceful animal. Eats death, right? Another nine, six and three is nine. And chameleon spirit, act as if. So I'm going to read out of the book. Vulture spirit, 63. What seems hideous has its own beauty and the recycling and repurposing the vulture does is as important as any other activity in nature that supports the cycle of life. Vulture spirit's message is that nothing is to be wasted for nature sees value in everything that exists. What seems rotten and ugly has the potential to be transmuted into something beneficial and you are reminded that any suffering you have experienced has not gone to waste. Wisdom and understanding that arose from the experience are talismans that will serve you on your journey wherever you go. What is decaying is only changing form and will fertilize seeds you wish to plant, turning that which has passed away into the substance that will support new growth. All that you might wish to deny or discard has value and can be repurposed and reintegrated into the new you that you are becoming and the new life that you are dreaming into being. No pain was in vain and no experience was wasted, for you have the power to use it to co-create something far better. This is the miracle in your partnership with spirit. Exactly. It will move into something that is far better. Okay. And chameleon spirit. Act as if. 14 resonates to 5. 5 is all about changes and sometimes challenges, right? Challenges come with change. Chameleon spirit, come on. All right, chameleon spirit shares her gift with you today to prepare you for changes that will greatly benefit you. Outer conditions are changing and you're required to come into harmony with them so you can co-create your greatest dream. Feeling sensitive? Good, because that will come in handy, enabling you to determine how best to adapt to your envir environment and the people in it, while at the same time maintaining your integrity and inner equilibrium. Even if you feel like you're in uncharted territory, Chameleon Spirit has complete faith in your ability to fit in and learn the lay of the land, adapting as necessary. Adapting, surrendering, letting go. This is a fortunate time to act as if and do as others do until the new ways feel familiar and completely natural. Life is offering you a great lesson now. Adapting isn't about losing yourself. It's about learning how to dance with others. Being sensitive and having empathy for others can become a heavy burden if you don't practice self-care. Could it be you're feeling stressed because you've turned tuned into challenging emotions that aren't even yours? That's interesting too. Interesting message. Particularly if you're a highly sensitive person, you may be absorbing the energy around you that really isn't yours. Um, and so sometimes that can make us feel, uh, again, as a highly sensitive, you can feel others' anger and it just starts to kind of percolate with, within you. Okay. Um, and Keepers of the Light Oracle from Kyle Gray. These are Oracle messages. From the Ascended Masters, Angels, um, spiritual, oops, spiritual Guides and Leaders. I don't want to take, I'm just going to take the two that came up here. St. Germain, Karma Releasing, exactly. Karma Release, exactly, along with the Tower, 
which show that karma releasing. Create your own path. Make room for good energy. I had to make room so I could make new videos, right? And I am going to completely butcher this. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm going to try, but this is what it looks like. Serapis Bay, Serapis Bay, uh, meaning ascension. Move into your true self. Rise above the darkness. The light is there. Remember I said? When the darkness shows up, when the devil shows up, it is a call for the light to shine even brighter. But let me read out of the book. St. Germain, St. Germain, St. Germain. QRS. Still have to do that. My alphabet. Oh, they're both S's. Um, just a second. All right. Saint Germain was born in France in the 18th century and is said to have been given a new identity because he was the love child of two very powerful people. He was well educated and able to rub shoulders with royalty. He was also deeply interested in magic alchemy, and the cosmos, and able to perform real-life miracles and turn lead into gold. Now he helps us move beyond social limitations to connect with the right people for the highest good. He's still a master alchemist and able to help us turn whatever is leaden in our life into something that is golden. His twin flame is Lady Portia, and he is the keeper of the violet flame, the powerful etheric retreat where we can release karma. Karma is a spiritual law of cause and effect. We experience many levels of karma, some we inherit from our family, and some from the people we keep helping out of the problems they keep creating. St. Germain is here now to clear your energy so that you no longer have the weight of the world or your loved one's world on your shoulders. Be aware that an old pattern is leaving your life and creating space for something more loving to enter. Visualize yourself surrounded by a fiery violet cloak to release all the karma you no longer need. Beautiful. And this one about Ascension. Um, Serapis Bay is the light keeper in charge of Ascension. He once served as a priest in Luxor, Egypt, helping those passing on to cross over into the light. Now he is a presence we can call on in order to ascend. Ascension means rising up. It reminds us of the story of Christ being resurrected after death. This means that Serapis Bay can guide us from the lowest states of being back to the light. His energy is almost that of a phoenix, giving us the support to move out of our own hell or darkness into a space that supports our growth. The stars cannot shine without darkness. You may have experienced a low state of being, trauma, or depression, but this is a new beginning. Become aware of growth. There is always room for improvement. There's always also a sense of presentation now. You may be receiving documentation or certification to acknowledge your growth or experience. It's important to cherish this time and to realize that without the challenges or obstacles you have faced, you wouldn't be as strong, powerful, or focused as you are today. You are ascending personally and spiritually at this time, and the universe is here to support it. Wow. Beautiful. Amazing. Okay, and now finally, postcards from Spirit. I love these Oracle cards. I just got them a couple of days ago, and I've used them for the last few days of uh, creating these videos, and they've just been wonderful. No, oh, no. Okay. Okay. Dearest you, over here there is no mystery for us to unravel as we know intimately how connected we all are, how the web of creation works, and how spirit is in every aspect of life from the invisible to the visible. But it's impossible for humans to comprehend the complexities of how things actually work 
because the most important threads in the tapestry don't make sense in the dimension you live in. That said, can you feel the importance of these currents of energy that bring events together in miraculous ways? This is about a new perspective, a sensing, an intuitive sensing. You can't understand with your mind, but you can know with your heart and soul. Trust that even though you don't know the how, the what, or the why, we do. Surrender to the mystery and have faith that the unseen world is watching you with loving eyes as spirit weaves your life's mysterious and beautiful tapestry in glorious technicolor. Loving you so much as always. So honey, be you, I know it's difficult. This is not when we feel angry. It is just, it just doesn't feel good in the body. And it's a normal part of the grieving process. And we need you to go through it. Human beings need to feel the full range of emotions. We're not robots. We're not artificial intelligence. We're connected mind, body, spirit to each other. And for that reason, um, it is important that we're all healing, ascending, and moving through this grieving process as we approach this new, a new reality. Be well. Thank you.